Okay. Okay, we're recording this for the team, Good Life team, and today is April 28th, mm -hmm. 2015. Very excited to be here, guys, and um, super fired up for a couple of reasons. Been to a couple of major Beachbody events in the last two weeks. Went to Cancun success trip with my beautiful bride, Lisa, which was amazing. Hi, babe. And we're recording, so... Um, so we went to Cancun, which was amazing, and we got to hang out with uh, I, close to 5,000 coaches, something like that, which was unbelievably um, fun and motivating, and I definitely encourage you guys, if you're not, I know, uh, Megan, I know you and Eric are on the wait list, right, for next year's um, Success Club trip, but everybody, you guys get on the wait list, Doesn't, you don't have to commit to anything to get on the wait list, but hi, buddy. Um, it's unbelievable, unbelievable to be experienced to not only have a vacation all all inclusive paid for for you, but just to be around um, so many positive, inspiring people. And then on Saturday it was Super Saturday, and Lisa and I went up to Newport, which was which was really cool. It was pretty crowded. I think what what did he say about five six hundred people, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And um, it's always inspiring to see top. Mm -hmm coaches, elite coaches share their story and their successes and what's worked for them and, um, and just be around other people and be around the energy. But in this particular instance, Carl Deichler made a pop by and he spoke to us, which was awesome. And so I want you guys to know, first of all, I think Carl's a pretty cool dude. I don't know what you guys think, but he's legit. And, um, and he inspired me. So what I'm going to talk to you guys about today is, is directly inspired by Carl. Is that Erica? Yep, I'm here. Hi, Erica. Hi, how are you? Good. How are you? So I've got I've got three points today. Again, inspired by Carl. Um, Carl's popped by to the Newport Beach Super Saturday, and um, and really the three points come out of this statement, which he said a couple of times, and I wrote down because I don't know why it just kind of impacted me. And one of the things that Carl said was, "Your job is not to sell, but to care about people." Again, it's your job is not to sell, but to care about people. And I started thinking about that, and I thought, man, that is so true, you know? And um, I want to share with you guys a text message I got from one of my challengers the other day. This is somebody who's in their 50s, and, um, you know, they're in their 50s. So they probably thought that they don't necessarily are never going to be healthy and fit like they were in their younger years. But as we know, age is just a number and people can absolutely regain their health and strength. She says to me, um, I'm so excited. I've officially lost 8.4 pounds since March 16th, doing the 21 day fix. She sent me this on April 10th and the three day refresh. I'm doing T25 beta now. Oh, and I knocked 50 points off my cholesterol. It's perfect. Now. I owe it all to you. Thanks for getting me started. Love my new lifestyle. Well, the thing is, is that made my day, and that's what we're in this business for, is to help people like that. But in, in this person's life, this, was, this is a life-changing experience. She knocked her cholesterol down 50 points. She's losing weight. She's feeling great. She's doing T25 beta like it's no big deal, and I think that's unbelievable. So um, our job is not to sell but to care about people. So I've got three ways that we can care, three specific actions we can take to care. The first one is we need to care enough to invite them, right? We have, we have to actually invite them. If we're really going to care about somebody, we have to let them know that we might be able to help them, right? So we want to invite them to a free eating group, invite them to any of the things that you guys are putting together to gather interest or directly to a, directly to a challenge group. Mm -hmm. Okay, but we definitely need to invite them. we got to reach out. We have to message them. It's not enough just to uh, post on your Facebook wall and hope they see it. Um, okay, so first point, care enough to invite them. Second one is care enough to listen. Care enough to listen. And I love this. I love this. Another Carl quote. He says, you're not selling six packs. Who knows if they want a six pack? Who knows if they want a bikini body? Those are, those are things that may not be their goals. So listen to what they want to achieve. What are they hoping to do? Okay, find out what it is that they want to do and don't put upon them what you think they might want. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Great idea. I don't know if you guys saw the super, did any of you see the super Saturday video 
Um, I don't know if it's on YouTube yet. I looked for it and didn't see it yet. I didn't see it. So there was, a, there was a couple of trainings from some of the top coaches, and one of them had an idea that I, I thought was really cool. And I think, Erica, I think you actually did this. Um, she created an application for her group, and it was basically a questionnaire. It's the same questions that I would ask if I had a conversation with somebody, but it was a questionnaire that asked them, you know, what are your goals? Why do you hope to lose weight or, you know, do you have any injuries? And so it was almost like a, it was like an application that they filled out and it gave them, gave the coach all of that information. Mm -hmm. And then they, you would schedule a follow-up call and go through the application with them. And it was a chance to ask questions and really go deep into what they were hoping to achieve and set goals. Um, there's a couple of great reasons to do that. One is, again, it shows that you care because you're listening to them. But the other thing that it does is it, it really helps that person to visualize what it is that they want, right? And as you go through and help them kind of draw that out of them, they're more connected to their why and they have a better chance of succeeding. So the second point, again, care enough to listen. Um, the third point I have on your job is not to sell, but to care about people is care enough to share. Care enough to share. So, you need to share your experience and your journey. You, know? um, you need to share your challenger's experience or journey if it's more relevant. Because there will be times when it's more relevant than your personal one, depending on the customer. But care enough to share because that's where it really makes a connection. It's funny, I, I was um, talking to a guy in Rhode Island the other night. And um, as we got to chatting, you know, I, I told him, you know, um, he was asking me about T25 and I said, Hey, when I did T25, I went from a size 38 to a size 34 inch waist in, you know, in whatever it is, 10 weeks. Um, and it was amazing. And, and he messaged me back and he says, Oh my gosh, that's exactly where I am as a size 38. So it was just a little detail. I didn't think anything about, but because I was sharing it really connected with him, he felt like it really related to him. Does that make sense? So it could be anything, but just be, you know, when you get to the point and you've listened to them, share what your journey has been, share your struggles. Um, another thing that I often share is how I failed three or four times on P90X where I started and stopped, started and stopped and never finished it. Because I also know, and you guys have probably seen this, people will get a challenge back and not finish the program, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that happens more often than not. And so, you know, I try to pick them up. I try to pick them up a month later or six weeks later and say, Hey, you want to try it again? Do you want to try to do that program again? Remember, I personally failed three times before I had the life changing experience. Maybe you're like me. So again, just again, listen, share your journey. The next piece that you want to care enough to share is you need to share your expert opinion, right? You guys are experts. Now you've been doing this a while. You've seen a lot of people change their lives. You've learned, you've been educated through Beachbody. I know we're not nutritionists and I know we're not, um, none of us are certified trainers or anything like that, but we know what works and what doesn't. And we can give advice. Mm -hmm. Don't be afraid to do that. Don't be afraid to tell them, you know, based upon what you've told me, I think, uh, P90 would be your best choice. Or I think the 21 day fix would be an awesome choice for you based on what you want to achieve. Or, you know, since you've told me you struggle the most with, you know, um, your junk food addiction, maybe we need to do a three day refresh to kind of kickstart your system. So don't be afraid to do that. And the biggest piece for me, as far as caring and sharing your expert opinion is Shake, don't be apologetic about recommending Shakeology. Hi, Michelle. Hi, how are you? Don't worry, I'm recording all this, so you got your perfect. You uh, end. <laughs> but don't be, yeah, don't be afraid to tell them they need Shakeology. And you know, if you have people that go, well, can I just do the workout program? Yeah, you can just do the workout program, but you need to know that you're not going to get the same results as if you did Shakeology. Mm -hmm. And ask them, why don't you want to do the Shakeology? I have a question. What you, I've had this past month, I've had, you know, three people I've been to 21 day fix and none of them have wanted to do Shakeology. They say it's money and I talk to them and I say, you know, you really you can't really guarantee that you're going to get the same results because without Shakeology. And then, you know, they just don't do Shakeology. So it's almost not worth it for me to help them. I mean, I obviously help them through the program, right. but what do you I mean for the challenge group? I really want to be like, you need to do Shakeology because that's how I 
help people through the program. I mean, it's like some people would just don't do it and they're not into it as much because they don't have Shakeology. No, I agree. I agree. And that's really up to you guys. I know a lot of coaches don't let people in their challenge group if they don't do a challenge pack. Yeah, I've seen mm-hmm. that too. If, unless they do Shakeology, you're not. Yeah, and it's not, and I, and I tell people, here's the other thing that I think is, I think it's, it's the truth. You know, all of us here on the call, we all have jobs. We're not relying on this challenge pack sale to, to make our mortgage payment. And, um, and I tell people that. I say, look, I don't need the money. I don't need the commission. It's not about that for me. For you, you need to do the Shakeology because it's the best option for you. And I'll go through and educate well, them what it does. You're already going to be spending on so I don't want you to waste your money because, I mean, the 2026, they have to pay shipping and everything with that. So they're paying, you know, $80, $85 already with just that. I don't, you know, just the incremental, you're going to get so much more out of it. But, right. Yeah, I'm having a hard time this month with that. And Well, you, you know what, Erica, that's just going to be the case sometimes, and it's okay. I mean, I would still, it's up to you whether or not you want to put them in a challenge group, but I mean, I wouldn't, I wouldn't turn somebody away if they wanted to buy a fitness program from me and they didn't want to do Shakeology. No. I just try to kind of bring them along the best. Yeah. Yeah. You just got to do the best you can. And, and in my very first, um, my very first group, Michelle, you were in that very first group. Yep. There was a lot of people who didn't get Shakeology. And the reason why is because I wasn't confident enough to really uh, educate them on it. But what's interesting is uh, several, about a half dozen of them are now Shakeology Home Direct customers. But it took me, gosh, almost a year to get them to, to do Shakeology because I kind of failed to do it at the get-go. You know what I mean? But I also think the ones that did Shakeology in that first challenge group had greater successes and that was shown so that was like the proof was in the pudding. Yeah, well, absolutely. And, you know, in the, in the case of the 21-day fix, if they did the portion control and stuff and all that, they're still going to get good results. But the thing that they're missing is the nutrition. I mean, you, yeah. just can't, you just can't eat enough to get what you get out of a Shakeology. Um, a little side note, guys. If you guys haven't read Darren Aline's book, Super Life, highly, highly recommend it. Awesome. Okay, so we were on um, Care Enough to Share. We were on Share Your Expert Opinion. The last piece of Care Enough to Share that I want to mention is Care Enough to Share the Best Options for Purchase. And this is really important, I think, because, you know, I've had a pretty good luck as far as signing up coaches. About 20% of all of my challengers come on as coaches. And, and I've, in no situation have I sat down and, and talked to them about the coaching opportunity. What I do is when they're ready to commit, I give them their purchase options. And some of you guys have seen the, the Google Docs that I use, right? Mm-hmm. Absolutely. I, mean, I swear by those Google Docs and I say, here's your purchase options. I tell them the challenge pack is the most popular option and that the best deal is coming on as a coach. And about 20% of my people see that and they go, well, I want the best deal. And, um, and that's how you get you know, in, in your guys' situation, all of you guys are Emerald coaches and you've got a couple of solid coaches under you. And now the next step is getting to eight so that you can become diamond coaches, right? And so part of that, I think, is as you're selling challenge packs, Erica, you're a great example because you are the retail queen. Man, I think you might sell more challenge packs than anyone on the team. Um, you know, make sure that you're presenting that option. Hey, look, it's you don't have to pursue the business right now, but if you come on as a coach, it is a better discount for you. Um, especially if you have, I don't know if you have a lot of military um, friends, but you know, especially if they're military or veterans because they don't even pay the 1595 coaching fee anymore, you know, which is an unbelievable deal. So um, definitely present that option because you'll get some coaches that way. And, you know, not everybody that's going to be a coach is going to be building their business, but all of those coaches do, the discount coaches help you to get to the next level of rank, if that makes sense. And then you never know who's going to be your next star. You know what I mean? Okay. So the other thing is, is, um, and I was just, I want to mention this, and I posted it in the Good Life group right before the call, uh, is this chart. The diamond chart, you guys remember this? Mm-hmm. It's just a visual. It, it reminds you what you need to do to get to diamond. Eight coaches, two of them emeralds. 
take a look at that. What I want you guys to do, if you haven't done it in a while, is download that and just start to think about who you can help. Maybe it's current challengers. Maybe it's people who are, who are Shakeology Home Direct customers that have been, you know, drinking shakes for six months. Maybe it's time to get them on the discount deal. You know, um, Lisa's mom is a coach. She doesn't know, she doesn't, she did not want to be a coach. So we said, we'll just put you in the discount club. <laughs> Right? Yeah. Because she drinks her shakes. She loves her shakes. So she's in the discount club. And we tell her, just don't worry about all the emails. Um, we have to log into her account to change her flavor. She can't do anything. But she gets her shakes every month, and she drinks them, and she loves them, right? So, yeah. Right? So you can get people in the discount club. So it's just something to think about. Mm -hmm. uh, so definitely, just to recap, the job is not to sell, but to care about people. And then the way we care about people in action is we care enough to invite them, we care enough to listen to them, and we care enough to share. Okay, so those are the, those are the points that I really wanted to talk about. And um, I'm really, I'm just, I'm really excited right now about the Beachbody thing. I've been a coach for exactly a year. Michelle, I know you're about the same time, coming up on a year now too. Um, you know, we've done this, we've had some success, we've seen some people really change their lives, which is exciting. And like I said a minute ago, um, Lisa and I have just been immersed with Beachbody coaches the last couple of weeks. So it, it is, you can see, probably feel the smoke coming off me right now, right? So this is why I want you guys to get to events so much. I want you to get to, if you can make it happen to get to Summit, go. There's going to be 25,000 coaches. It's going to be off the charts, even if you can't even get into a breakout, just the energy, just talking to people. Everyone you talk to is gonna be going through the same things you are, sharing ideas, it's gonna be awesome. And then Super Saturdays, I don't know, Michelle, did you get up to Super Saturday this week? No, we had family events, we had family baby showers when we flew in, so I was bummed. So Super Saturday. Boston's so good. Yeah, it's so fun, you know, and everybody works out together and it's just really cool. And you're in the parking lot and you see all the cars with all the beach body marketing on them and you're like, oh, look at that person there. Look at that, you know, and um, and then you have people like we had, uh, what was the girl's name, babe, that got up and spoke? Her name was Megan Tucker. Oh, so yeah. She got up and spoke. She's six star elite coach. Mm -hmm. Not bad, right? She says, last year I came to the same Super Saturday, which we were at, weren't we, babe? In, in Orange County, and I was an Emerald coach. And she, she made five-star elite by the end of December. So she went from April to December. She went from Emerald to five-star elite. She just decided she got motivated at a Super Saturday and kicked it up a notch and just went for it, which is unbelievable. I mean, it's almost like, how did, how did that happen? But the point is, is that it's, it's possible. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. um, so, well, I'm, I'm taking my um, mailer this month that we get from Buffini about getting healthy. And April 15th is our taste test night for healthy recipes and Shakeology recipes. Nice. So I'm going to consider it a um, client party type thing. So awesome. we'll see what comes out of it. Cool. It's going to be like a Tupperware party. We're going to show the, the different workouts on TV, little snippets of each. And just do a bunch of Shakeology recipes, and ice cream, the pies, and a lot of healthy beach body recipes and try them. And we'll see what happens. Cool, Michelle. That's great. I think that's we'll a great see. idea. Yeah. You, you know, some of the promo videos might be fun to show, too. Well, I want to do the Shakeology Tony Horton one. Yeah. About, you know, going into the cash register. That's my favorite. Me, too. So it'll be fun. We'll see. So, awesome. so are you doing it at your house? Yeah, doing it at my house. So it'll be oh, fun. I Absolutely. Hi. So, hi. And that's the thing too is, you know, I know we haven't had a call in a while and life's been kind of crazy. At least it's been, well, I can speak for us yeah. and for Lisa and I, it's been crazy. And um, we talk at Buffini about keeping one oar in the water sometimes. Life gets crazy. You know, you can't fully row. You keep one oar in the water. And I know um, for me with the beach body business, it's been one oar in the water. But um, I think it's time to bring this thing and get it going, really get it going. You know what I mean? And if you guys are, if you guys are ready to do that too, I'm, I'm along for the ride with you. Um, 
I just, it's just a really exciting time to do it. It's springtime, right? People are getting out and getting active. They're looking around. It's a good time to approach people. But I encourage you guys to, when we talk about hitting success club every month, you know, getting to success club five, just think of it like this. Who are, who are three people that I can help? And, you know, I was talking to Lisa about this, you know, um, I built a, I built a lead generation platform for Buffini called referral maker. And it's based on just doing a certain amount of, of outreach contacts every day, Michelle, I know you know all about this <laughs> every day in order to predict, create a predictable stream of leads. The same thing goes for this. If every week you say, who are three people I could help? this week and possibly ask if they want to get involved in their challenge pack, a free, uh, you know, a clean eating group, a psychology test group, whatever it is, just three people every week. That's it. If you could think of three people every week and invite them. And out of those 12 people, three people actually accepted your help. That'd be success club. That'd be six success club points. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? So it's not like, you know, um, Coach Lois, love you. If you ever watch my videos, I love you. But I remember Coach one time was like, how many people are you going to call this month? I'm going to call 600. Are you kidding me? I'm not calling 600 people this month. But, you know, if you could reach out to three people, it might even just be a message. I am amazed at how I'll write happy birthday on someone's Facebook and they'll ping me back and go, thank you. So what's this, this group? So you can any sort of outreach. So that's my encouragement to you guys is, again, it's not about selling, it's about caring, and it's about letting people know that you care and doing it in a structured way. And then thinking about, hey, are there three people that I could reach out to? Does that make sense? Absolutely. And one last thing I wanna say, and then I'll shut up because I know I've been talking a lot, not letting any of you guys really get a word in edgewise, but I know some of you guys have some new coaches. I know you've got Jeanette going. Um, you know, we've got some new coaches coming on. I want you guys to let me know, should we do a coach basics group pretty soon? And you want to plug some people in maybe, um, maybe in the beginning of June or sooner. Um, Lisa, I know your coach Colleen might be bringing coaches in right now. So it's probably time to get some of that stuff going. Um, so just let me know as that's going, if we need to do that and we can, we can get some structured, you know, just getting to get people comfortable about what they're doing. Okay. Cool. Cool beans. So we booked our trip to Europe and I told Paul we have to be back by July 7th so I can work a little bit before I go down the summit. <laughs> Good girl. Hey, so by the way, I do have a I still do have a hotel room. If you guys if you guys are going to come, you can all grab it and share it. You let me know. Um otherwise, I have my friend Mike wants it. But I told him um I told him you can have it only if you guys don't use it. So, um, because he can always crash on Kemp's couch because he and Kemp he used to be Kemp's coach. So they, can, they, can, they can connect if he wants to. But, oh, was yeah. it Lopez? Yeah. Oh, cool. Cool. So let me know, you know, let me know if you guys, I know, like, Eric, I know you're not really planning on it right now. Megan, I know you're not really planning on it either. I'm just leaving the option open. If you guys decide last minute you want to do it, let us know. Well, I have my ticket already booked for, um, entrance in the summit so i just have to do my plane and you know we saw daddies and megan has a ticket to summit so again you know your arms and legs won't fall off but i think it'll be worth it and megan i don't want to wait until august to see you <laughs> i know <laughs> so i'm not trying to guilt i'm not trying to put a guilt trip on you guys just saying if you can make it happen make it happen it'll be worth it i think you guys will get super fired up um, by being around all those people. So um, that's all I have for you guys today. Sweet. Great to see you guys. Great to connect again. feels like it's been forever. Good to connect. Uh, but it is a good life, and I'm really glad to be on this journey with you guys. And all the people that you guys help are so lucky to have you in their lives. Talk to you guys soon. Have a great day. Bye.